Good morning. Wait, I think it's actually afternoon. Hey, dearly bug. We definitely think some teeth are coming in because his nose is running and he's quite drooly. But overall, we're in good spirits. <laughs> so we're definitely still getting into the swing of um, vlogging at home. We didn't have enough footage for a vlog yesterday, which is okay because I had a meeting with my sisters that we had to go to regarding situating my mom's estate. Um, some errands to run, so I, f I feel like that might be the new normal. Some days we aren't going to be able to vlog, just if they're simply, we won't be able to. Um, so instead of a video going up today, we are going to go live later, so that is exciting. Just ordered some lunch. I mean, Jamesy has been productive, right? Getting ourselves unpacked and settled. So we tried out a place called Brazilian Bowl. This one is steak with, no, this one is pork with mango sauce and guacamole. And this one's steak with hot sauce. We also got fried plantains and fried yuca. And then we got two coxina. I think that's how you say it. Um, they got chicken inside with some sort of sauce. Peter, tell them what's really special about today. We have our first virtual appointment with Dr. Lloyd from CRM down in Florida about getting like the lay of the land of how we go about doing another embryo transfer. Yep, so he's our fertility specialist and he'll get to meet James, which is pretty cool because he brought us James. And it's in 20 minutes, I thought it was at. I was like, oh, we thought it was at five. I was like, is it five o'clock Eastern time or Central time? And so I was like, let me look. 2.45 Eastern. <laughs> You think that's crazy? Do you want to meet Dr. Lloyd? All right, so that went well. Dr. I'm a tomato. You, Sarah's tomato. She gets so nervous. Mm -hmm. Look at that baby. I get so nervous. So, here's also, the gist. Also, plus, I know somebody asked if the balloon survived the trip and it did. Yeah, and it's still helium maybe. Yeah. Um, so here's the quick rundown, the rub of it. Sarah needs some, some blood work done, some other stuff you done. You too. I do too, which is funny because like they're not doing anything to my body for this thing. The embryos, the embryos are exist. already there. We have three double A's and one double B. B. Mm -hmm. And with those odds, he says there's a 95% chance using the rest of them, which is scary to think about, yeah. that there would be a, a, a second child, um, which we kind of knew those stats already. But anyway, Sarah needs some blood work. Then mm -hmm. they actually, this is what I'm happy about but didn't expect, is we were talking about the C-section and everything, and we thought the earliest would be November they could do a transfer. Mm -hmm. like, but he really said... Mm -hmm. Once they do a hyster hysteroscopy, <laughs> hysteroscopy. Once they do, they want to do an internal camera mm -hmm. to make sure because of the C-section there wasn't bit terrible scarring or anything. That once that happens and her hormone blood work, like lab write-ups and everything, they would just get the plan going for like the following month or two to do the transfer. Yeah. So we might actually like, we were jokingly around saying like, we're going to come down in August, the end of August <laughs> through September to just like live six weeks in Orlando. Yeah. But that might turn into, we need to do that for, for the testing the that testing. takes place. So the blood work we can do here in Chicago, oh, but the hysteroscopy we would do down in Florida and then obviously the transfer we would do down yeah. in Florida. So we really might do this six weeks because we could, he, we, oh God. We could do that, that procedure up here, mm -hmm. but if we can do it down there with Dr. Loy himself, why not? Yeah, it was cool. We weren't able to bring James into the office with COVID, so it was cool to introduce him. He's um, ready for a nap. Yeah, um, but it was a good meeting overall, and he said that... He said, get back on that Mediterranean diet. Yeah, Mediterranean <laughs> diet and cardio, remember? 
those days. Um, wow. I, I'm hopeful that like, I mean we shared a lot last time, but it'll be cool to share this time being on, um, you know, being after, just like a different experience. After listen, let's get this kid a sibling. Yeah. And he was, he's very happy with, he was, he's always been happy with the status, like the, the quality of embryos we had. Remember when he saw my report, he said, Whoa. <laughs> he said, hot dog. Um, and we could hear him like outside the room say that. And so, oh my gosh, let's do it. Jamie, you're supposed to look at the camera, not the screen. We need to put sunglasses on them so you, <laughs> that nobody can see him doing that. Barely just started our walk. And he's already out. This poor little dude. I think it's all four top teeth coming in. Yeah, there's a lot of swollenness. Lots going on of swollenness in his top gum. And he definitely has a slight fever right now. Um, so we're gonna go get some baby Motrin. I got my sunglasses at home. Most of us did. And so we're just gonna take it easy. We're gonna go live later. But to we gotta make, yeah, we gotta make this baby feel good because he's not feeling so hot right now. While walking to the lakefront, we found people playing archery. A, a dang archery! Is it? Do you play archery or do you practice yeah. archery? Practice archery. It's legit. Like it's made for this. It's not like. Right there. Yeah. There's two gentlemen in there having a gentleman's duel on a fun <laughs> afternoon for their pride. He is a big old kid and he is waking up. Hi baby. You look a little toasted. Huh. Well good night. So the running begins tomorrow. Ooh, Sarah just made a face like I believe when I see it. Doctor ordered. It is doctor ordered. Um, but last time Dr. Lloyd told us to eat a Mediterranean diet and exercise, I signed up for my first marathon. So. Look how toasted I am. We walked along the way. Along the way and Sarah's in like a cotton black shirt and the sun was, was out beaten. But we got Red Bulls, we got junk food, we're eating junk tonight because tomorrow it all begins. Also in the live stream, look at this beautiful, like we're, suit, we're further north than we usually are on the lakefront. But first of all, how big and heavy do you think those stones are. They're like scary big. Also, there's a garbage can. And there was a bicycle down there. But down there, there's a ladder about 200 yards. And I think, if I look at the rungs, I looked at the rungs of the ladder, and I think they're a foot apart, and I counted like seven to eight before it hit the rock that's there, like those rocks. So, I think I'm gonna jump in on the live stream later in the lake over there. We'll see. I did wear gym shorts. I didn't do this plan, but could just do a little I dive didn't in. I thought we were staying here for the live stream. I thought we were just going on a small stroll. What time is it? Maybe we don't have to stay here for the live stream. So I just jump in anyway. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> oh my god. It feels so good though. I know, but it's literally frigid. And there's so many less flies over here. I know, I'm jumping in this water. I have changed my mind and I will not be jumping in today. <laughs> you will shock. Go into shock and you sink. sink. <laughs> I don't think you should go in. Unless you're at the beach. This is too deep. There's a ladder over there. There's a, there's a ladder right there, that yellow bit. Does it come in? Kind of. <laughs> it's the lake. You want to know what's daddy going in? <laughs> You're seriously going to go in. I'm going to go in. Okay, Sarah's say hello to the live stream. Live stream, say hello to the vlog. <laughs> Sarah's going to live stream and push James in the stroller. And I'm going to go in this ridiculously cold lake. He's doing this to himself. Oh my goodness. I think you need to turn around and go the other way. Are you going to jump? I think I'm going to die. Like... <laughs> I like want to see if I can feel this rock. No. Uh, it creeped me out. I didn't feel, I didn't feel it though. 
I have a like, irrational fear of water. <laughs> I think I'm just realizing this. <laughs> you have you have, have a, a fear, fear of dark, dark water. water. Huh? Go, go, go. I made, I don't know how much Sarah showed you, but I made it. I'm gonna get back in and I'm gonna swim because I'm being empowered by all these other people that are, people are getting in the water, people are in the water over there, people are telling me on the vlog. I'm just gonna swim to the air hearts right across Lake Michigan, but I'm gonna get in and I'm gonna try to swim for the other ladder. Goodbye! <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> it's so cold. The ducks are doing it. I think I'm going to just, I'm gonna go in too. I feel so jealous that it just, my feet were really cold when I did put my feet in. I think I've talked myself into it. You can do it, Sarah. Brooke, Brooke says go! It's so cold. <laughs> it's so cold. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're doing it. You gotta get your head. You gotta get your head. It's so cold. Now dip again and stay. That's, it helped. You got this. Brooke says go, Harmony Davis says go, Sarah. Those girls are cheering you on? Okay. <laughs> Okay, you got this. Ah! Dump, dunk your head, dunk your head, dunk your head. Woo! Uh, yes. The rock's really close. What? I touched the rock. You touched the rock? Yeah. You're tall. Just go, like, float on your back. Do it. Look at her. She's like a professional. Last shout out on the vlog for the live stream. Everybody say what up, vlog. <laughs> Sarah dunked in and she did great. Yeah. Good job. Jenna said flies biting means it's gonna rain. It's supposed to rain tonight. <laughs> Someone's in a better mood today right now. Also, so far we're up to these sweets. We're buying a bunch of sweets and having a party tonight because tomorrow starts the Mediterranean. You got a sandwich and a LaCroix. And we're finishing our Oreos tonight. He's <laughs> helping hold all the groceries. <laughs> He's so sweet. He really is. Sweet realization after getting home. I'm probably eating a bunch of junk food tonight. It's not a junk food. It's just, um, Food not approved by our, like our, it's basically low sugar diet. Yeah. But in the middle of all that, we realized that James could definitely, if he was sitting in his crib, grab the side and stand up, and his overly large cranium would cause him to topple over. He so has, now. He has pulled up on a few toys, so it's. Popping. The, the odds of it happening slim right now, especially in the middle of that we don't want the first time for that to happen, to be. A regret. A regret. So I'm actually gonna get the tools out and lower the mattress a bunch. We got Roni's for dinner. I was so adamant that James' first Roni's would be my mom's sauce. That's my cousin Carrie's. She actually gave it to my mom to have at home. So it's special. Yeah. yeah. Like heck, got halfway through Luca so far. Really good movie. But that parenting life calls and uh, our baby is quickly approaching bedtime and I have to drop his mattress. And just like that, we've gone two rungs down, only one more left. Then it stays, this actually converts to, we've got a thing that this one comes off and a, a different thing goes on that turns into a toddler crib. Here's the sleeping baby. It is the 29th of June. Of June. 29th by Anonymous. Saying you're sorry is important, but not doing the same thing again is more important. Ain't that the truth? Did I have a pint? Might have been a pint of butter pecan ice cream, because it's my favorite. Yes. Does the new healthy eating per doctor's orders start tomorrow? Yes. It's also 11.40 if Sarah falls asleep like an hour ago from a headache. And leave an early day tomorrow because we need to go to um, Sarah's mom's house before I start my work day because Sarah and her sisters have some plans to go through more stuff. Um, but whenever we do that, like, there's not really a good time for me to make the drive to the suburbs during the day. So we, if I'm going to be there too, we have to go before I start. And I work Eastern time even though we live in Central time. So like, um, I usually start my day at eight o'clock my time, which means we have to leave like seven to get there in time and whatnot. So anyways, I'm rambling. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.